Today we will be talking about using texture arrays. This is an advanced topic for those already familiar with Mesh Baker. We also recommend watching the tiling and multiple material tutorials. I'm going to explain what texture arrays are, where they're useful, and how they work. Texture arrays are similar to atlases. They help different meshes share a common material in order to reduce draw calls. They work by collecting multiple textures into an atlas-like object that can be assigned to materials. In a texture array, the textures are stored like a deck of cards. Each texture is called a slice. This dice mesh has different materials on each side. It requires six draw calls to render. The UV channel for each side is exactly the same, using the full UV range from 0 to 1. One way to reduce the draw calls is to use an atlas. We combine the six textures into a single large atlas texture. Then, for each side, we scale and shift the UVs to use the correct part of the atlas. If we use an atlas in this case, the resulting UV channel looks like this. Another way to reduce the draw calls is to use a texture array. The six textures are stored as slices in the texture array file in the project. The texture slices are like cards in a deck, stacked on top of each other. We don't need to shift and scale the UV channel. The triangles for each face use the full UV range from 0 to 1. The UVs could extend outside the range 0 to 1, and the texture would tile without sampling neighboring textures. This is a big advantage over atlases. How do the triangles for each side of the dice know which slice to use? The slice index is stored in the mesh. We add a component to the UV channel that stores the slice index so that the mesh's UV channel has three components instead of the usual two. Here we can see that the first two triangles are using slice index 0 and the second two triangles are using slice index 3. The shader needs to be modified to read the slice index from the mesh UV channel. The shader uses this slice index when sampling the texture array to get the correct texture. The UV channel is not the only place the slice index can be stored. It could be stored somewhere else in the mesh, like another UV channel or vertex colors. Or the shader could fetch the slice index from somewhere else, like a lookup table texture. There are some disadvantages to using texture arrays. For anything other than simple flipbook textures, creating texture arrays requires writing scripts or using a tool like Mesh Baker. Shaders must only use either regular textures or texture arrays. This requires creating and maintaining two versions of each shader. A project using texture arrays probably uses regular shaders and normal textures for prototyping and designing levels, and only uses texture arrays for final scenes. Meshes need to be modified to encode the slice index. This is a hassle to maintain if you're adding and removing textures from the texture array or changing the prop mix in your scene. MeshBaker can make this workflow less painful. Unity doesn't automatically switch texture formats for texture arrays when switching platforms, like it does for regular textures. If you are building for multiple platforms, you may need to generate texture arrays in several different compression formats and assign the appropriate texture array to your materials when switching platforms. MeshBaker can make this easier. With all these disadvantages, what are the advantages? There are two big advantages. A single texture array can hold far more textures than a single atlas. Texture arrays also handle tiling better than atlases do. Here's an example scene with four different buildings. There are 38 materials using 38 textures. Many of the textures have a lot of tiling. We can bake these using atlases, but because of the excessive tiling, we can't fit all the textures into a single atlas without significant downscaling. This forces us to use several atlases. Alternatively, we can bake these textures into a single texture array that contains 11 slices. All of the textures fit. None of the tiling requires baking, so the size of the texture array is smaller than the equivalent set of atlases. By using texture arrays, all the source textures fit into a single array, and all the props use a single material. In our next video, we will explain the MeshBaker workflow for creating texture arrays. MeshBaker is available on the Unity Asset Store. Visit us at digitalopus.ca for more tips and tricks on using MeshBaker.